the fire calls are going up uh, quite drastically. 25% increase in one year is quite a bit. What's even more concerning is that a number of those fires are happening in a concentrated area. We see a lot of fires in the downtown core. Um, this time of year, the crew go to a lot of what are called warming fires, sometimes multiple times on a night. The risk for injury to the person or people warming themselves is real, and so is the threat that those fires could spread. There's concern and frustration. Obviously, business owners uh, put their entire investment um, into their business, and there's a real risk of that being threatened uh, by fires being set on the exterior of the buildings. Gary Batula is one business owner who knows this all too well. It's never been announced, but we know there was, there's footage from the building beside it showing that that's where the fire started. It was somebody lighting something on fire and that got away, with them, got away from them and left us in this pile of hurt. Eight businesses were forced to close their doors that day. I think that business owners have a lot of compassion for the homeless and street entrenched population and understand that that's an issue. Uh, but when their business and livelihood and ability to support their own families is threatened, um, that's, that's an issue in our community. Fire crews and bylaw will continue to have conversations with business owners over the dangers of leaving anything outside their building that could catch fire. And if anyone is found non-compliant, they'll face fines for illegal dumping. In Vernon, Tracy Prediger, Castanet.